Welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. We are in the back of Walmart right now, mm. basically just hiding because we're loud and YouTubers, and for some reason, Walmart does not appreciate it. But I've got my main men, AO Fishing and Fishing with Norm, with me. Hey, everybody. Two hey, of my hey. best buddies, <laughs> oldest friends on YouTube, and we're gonna be doing something a little bit different today, boys. Okay. Oh, All right, so yes. I know. It's a little exciting. Contain your excitement for me, okay? <laughs> That's right. So I woke up this morning and realized I love hanging out with you guys, okay? But Thank one you. thing I am getting tired of is is having to pick my own fishing gear mm. every single day. That's having to hard. make that decision. It's, it's almost like trying to pick the restaurant. You mm. know what I mean? When so everybody's yeah. hungry and you have to be the one to pick. You gotta mm -hmm. be the man. It kind of just becomes such a stressful experience. You just want to get away from it. You you right, know? right. Yeah. Do, you, do you ever get that way? Dude, for sure. Yeah, right? With boats? No, no, I love buying boats. I love picking out my fish. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, I thought it would be fun to let my two good buddies on YouTube help me out a little bit today. What I'd like to do is remove myself from this equation. Let you two gentlemen take full control over my fishing future, okay? okay? So for the next 24 hours or for the next fishing day, for this video, I'm only going to be allowed to use what you guys purchased for me here at Walmart. Now that could be, you know, rods, reels, lures, like the normal stuff, but it could also be fishing vessels. It could also be traps. It could also be whatever you guys Clothing? think. Clothing? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> hey, I'm not putting any limit on this, not putting any budget on this, okay? You guys do whatever you see fit to help me have a better fishing experience. So whatever we buy, you have to use is what you're saying. That's the rules. Correct. No exceptions. And I have to catch fish. That's the only rule is I have to take all this, that equipment and actually use it and make it work. That You're is correct. You're gonna regret I like this. this. I'm probably gonna regret it. I do trust you guys. Guys, make sure you check out both of their channels. It'll be linked down below. But hang on before you do that. I have a feeling this is gonna be interesting. First things first. <laughs> Apparel? He's gotta be safe on the water. I think if we can match that with a nice life jacket. What, how much do these cost? I don't see a price. This is a triple XL, I think it'll fit. I say we put it in here and just see what he does, because he might not. He's gotta be safe too, because we're gonna get him a kayak probably. Is that what our plans are? Do you wanna get him like something to, to move around on? Yes. Gotta be honest, I'm a little nervous. I already hear screaming and uh, child yelling. So I don't know if they're attacking a family or picking fishing gear, but came to the toy section because I just figured if I was gonna be depressed and let my friends do all the stuff for me, then I might as well just look at some toys, take them back to my childhood or something. All right, so starting the fishing challenge outright, we got a onesie swimsuit and a life jacket so he doesn't sink. And he has a swimsuit so he can swim. I say we go ahead and move into baits, rod reel combo. Then we gotta, we gotta think about flotation as well, but that we can do that last. Sounds good to me. Okay, big daddy. Okay, so now we gotta think, are we gonna be nice to Lojo or are we gonna be mean? Because I kinda wanna be nice because if I ever, if he's ever in the position to get me stuff, I prefer that he was nice to me. Let's just, but we could just surprise him and do like the best stuff we could do. Yeah, unless we see something really bad and we switch our whole plan out. Yeah, and then we could just do the worst thing we could do. Yeah. <laughs> We're going into this with good intentions, but no promises when you see the final shopping cart that is going to look good. So what I think we should do now is we should get stuff that he can't buy like at his local Walmart. Because every yeah. Walmart in different areas, if you guys don't know, we're not in Dothan, Alabama right now. We're way far away from it. So we can get like stuff that he's never fished with before. I agree. I think we should do that. Another thing I'm worried about, guys, is I'm pretty sure I said no budget. And the thing about Norm, if you guys don't know, he takes these challenges extremely seriously. So if you say no budget, in his mind, he's thinking, hmm, how can I make Lojo spend every dollar he has? And I'm not exaggerating. That man wants to spend some money that's not his. He's almost obsessed with it. Have you ever seen, everybody's seen the jelly worm. Yeah. Do you like that? I like the jelly worms. I've caught fish on them before. They're good. We jelly worm or not? That could catch a really big bass. And I know Lojo wants to catch a big bass. You think pink or blue? I like the blue. Yeah, let's go blue. <laughs> First bait, jelly worm. There's also some red on, some red on that bag. Oh yeah. It's okay. So what I've never seen before is Walmart has their own brand, but I've never seen that they made lizards, and then also I haven't seen the curly tail worms that they I made either. I have not seen the curly tail. I have. Have you seen, seen the lizards? lizards? I have not seen the curly tail. Dude, That's they have. Cool. They got flu shads. This That's is a, all like new stuff. It has to be. You I think gotta get them all. You think so? At least. And I think you could actually catch some fish on these. Like these look kind those of decent. Those are actually fire. All of these are fire. <laughs> okay, that's, that's perfect. Yeah. We agree? Well done. We, we might be being too nice. Yeah, we need to go a little bit tougher. 
You ever seen this before? We're just going straight Walmart brand. They have a prop bait. I know Lojo loves his top water fishing. Yeah, you gotta get him that. Three point five inch top water prop bait by Ozark Trail. What about knee pads? I think we gotta keep them safe on the water. I think we, it's a no brainer. I think we should go safety when it comes to this whole video. We need to really think about our safety on the water. We got knee pads and life jackets. We need to keep going. We just get them the hydro, hydro vibe wave. <laughs> I like that. Vibe. What is that? Have you ever seen that? UV bright. I have not. Vented blade, vented blade system, slow speed trolling spinner. It's trolling for trolling. Really? Yeah. You know what else you can troll with? Okay. It's a massive deep diving crankbait. Right. I heard these are great for bonds. So. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Boom. Run safer mask. I love these masks because they have a hole right over the mouth so you can breathe. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, that's ideal. That in combo with the onesie is going to be so hot. <laughs> Ooh, girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, let me grab the suit so we can like match and yes. see what would look best together. Right, 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 right. So we gotta think silver here. We need a big helmet. We're large people. Oh my, what is this? <laughs> no, they're knee pads. We gotta put the other knee pads back. This is a good trade, I no think. No way he can fit in those, though. We You're gotta right. think practicality, man. You right. gotta fit in there. I got so distracted by the design, I didn't think about if it could work. Right. These he could definitely fit in, I feel like. <laughs> UBU? I definitely feel like he could fit in those. I don't know, but... Tell me that wouldn't fit. I think it would. Yeah. Gotta keep his knees safe. He needs a helmet though, right? What do we think about this one? Think this is big enough? Put, put it on your schnog, see what happens. Yeah. Can you hold this real quick? Yeah, man. Would want to have to do that. Oh yeah, that's small. I think I got one. Decent fit. <laughs> yeah, that kind of gives a Lojo vibe. It does have a lojo vibe. Yeah. And that could fit his head, because my head's bigger. Yeah, same. Also, we need to think, we haven't got them a combo or any type of boat. They have kayaks here, so we could get them a kayak, but if we get them a kayak, we should probably get them a horn as well. What about this? It's, yeah, yes. But just in case he's out there on the water, something goes wrong, and say maybe his helmet doesn't keep him safe, ring the little, little bell. I said we go straight for rod and reel combo, and then get some type of vessel. I think he's safe enough now. True story, I was just walking like 20 aisles that way, trying to stay away from the guys. And I heard Walmart employees, or like overheard them talking about how there was people filming in the back. So the employees are onto us. There's definitely some security people starting to swarm. I can feel them closing in. I hope the guys are getting close. I'd rather not get kicked out of Walmart. Although it would probably be fun for the video. There's been like a secret shopper following us around. They have them in Walmart where it's like people pretend like they're shopping, but they actually work for Walmart. Are this you kidding? Same me? guy walk in and out like at least seven different occasions. Really? It just picking something up, looking at it, and putting it back down. So we gotta hurry, but we're gonna get Lojo's fishing rod and reel combo now, and there's a little cool spot that I wanna show you guys. So there's this case that I'd never seen in like a Walmart before, or I did like five years ago, but they have reels in the case. Like we mm. get them a really nice combo here. Get a classic pro lose. Yeah, it's protected, so it's gotta be kind of expensive. At least. Five bearing system. Woo. It's four too many. Thank you choose you. the rod, man. I chose the reel. You choose that rod. I always do. No, you're a big rod guy. Mm. What is this? Oh my. Jeez, what have you done, Norm? Oh gosh. Could you put a? Yeah, you 100% could fish with it. What is that supposed to do? I'm confused. And when line pulls out, it'll. I think you could 100% use a reel. I've never seen anybody use a bash reel on a crappy rod. Is this what this is? Oh yeah, it is. I didn't realize how long it was until I Yeah, that's why I grabbed it. Up. All right, <laughs> 10 foot crappy rod, that is a go. I'll tell you what he does need though. He needs probably a telescopic paddle. Yep. When you say? He has a lot of stuff to put on that kayak, so I think this one compacts. Good idea. We need to get him a kayak. We, we gotta do. give him one thing that's good. We gave him some decent lures. We got him no terminal tackle. That's good, we no should. fishing line. We'll grab that right now. And then we need to go get him a kayak. I agree. 
Norm? We found something. We're in kayak, Bill. Lojo started his channel on kayaks, so it only suits him that we get him a nice Walmart kayak that he'd go fishing in. Oh my lord. <laughs> that will not float. No, 130 pounds. <laughs> it will not, but that would be funny. There's no price so, on this one, but I like it. That one looks the best. Right. But should we get him the best one? Or should we go really down low? I'd this say down low. I think so too. Yeah. I don't know if we can go as low as a $104 right. kayak, but we, what we might be able to do is like, I want one that he could maybe actually go fishing in, okay. but it's barely gonna stay afloat. If he makes yeah. any little tiny movement, I want him in the water. I think this, this has maximum 200 pounds. He's so he's just over that. Yeah, so this is gonna be like so borderline, I think it's gonna be good. Yes, I like that. Go orange too, so he doesn't get shot. <laughs> Here, let me help. Let me help. Let me help you. Oh, it's the third time I broke my shin this week. There Can't we wait go. for that lady in the dress to come out here and start looking at plants. <laughs> Just right behind us. She was such a secret shopper. She was probably your number one fan, and she's yeah. unsubscribing right now. No, she's just so nervous to talk to us. Right. Yeah, it's just like, she was like. Sure. Yeah, that <laughs> could have been that she was a Walmart worker or extremely freaked out by a young man saying, I know who you really are. We got you. I know you work for Walmart. <laughs> Don't come here trying to be nice to me. Oh, Lord, I see him coming out. Oh, oh, my God. Dude, AO is carrying a kayak. Oh, my Lord. Oh, 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 What's up? These guys were in there for like an hour. What in the hell are you, were you doing? Shopping, bro. Yeah, dude, the card wasn't Jeez. going through. We were holding the line up. Yeah. The, the card wasn't going through? Yeah, yeah and then I paid, I paid for everything. Down. So <laughs> you owe me $639.51. $639? <laughs> yeah, I know you said this don't go over that? 500 but, but we also spent $60 on the real too, so adding that onto the $639. With so it. so about right 700. 700 flat. Oh, okay. I know you said please keep it under <laughs> yeah. 500. I just bought this big property and stuff. Right. But I figured yeah. for you to have a good fishing day, we had to spend everything. <laughs> what is, is this? A crappie pole? Yeah. This is a, a two-piece crappie rod. rod. Oh my god. What is beef right here? That's, That's your, your rod. rod. What? <laughs> what is it? What? What does it do? I don't. I don't it just makes noises. What is the weight capacity on so, this thing? Or did y'all even bother no, to check oh, that No, we, we looked. So we made sure pounds. it didn't sue oh, you. <laughs> so, it's less than what I weigh. How much? Good, right? I'm a solid 220 after this little uh, mini week that we just That's had. That's not together. bad. That's yeah. 20 pounds over is not bad. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then 60 pounds of gear. <laughs> and then 60 pounds of gear. <laughs> Gale force winds. What could go wrong? Uh, safety was like the top what? priority. <laughs> <laughs> was this a safety horn? Yeah. And then you have if this I get helmet. Lost? Can you, the, Oh so we my that lord! Fits. We wanted this you doesn't even fit my dog. Oh wow! <laughs> Safe. We're gonna be protected. We got crotch, melon and then, protection. You know, it's the very oh my <laughs> lord! <laughs> is this for? Is this rain gear? <laughs> no, that's a sauna suit. It's I get been, it, but is that what it was for? That's sure, to get you if you to want. Two hundred pound uh, weight yeah, limit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is also for you. you. Got some knee pads. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I see safety was a big yeah. knee and elbow pads. Those, oh, a, I did recognize double that. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's a double win. Added what value. Is this, right. is this wow. a bra? Is this a training bra? That's no, added. this is what a onesie. The... It's like what right. gymnasts wear. Doug, yo. <laughs> no, we got it in your size. Y'all so. wrong for that. In the intro, yo. I made sure to say everything we buy you, you have to use, and oh, you yeah. said yes. If you walk out, if you walk out of your house in the next scene and just this, I will Venmo you. The yeah. money. How much? For this whole video. The snacks coming. that we bought. <laughs> oh, with just your car. snacks. All right. All right. Deal. I should probably be a lot more gentle with that kayak than I just was. That was probably a huge mistake. This electric rod is uh, kind of annoying. When we were riding down here, it was beeping the entire time. I'm pretty sure I didn't have a fish, so I don't know what the heck this thing's talking about. How does this thing work? Oh boy, I hit a button. Is it gonna blow up? Bait? Lure. Oh. Yeah, I think like, if if your rod was just standing there, like in a, in, in a rod stand, oh God, there's ants. If your rod was just like set up in a rod holder or something and you got a bite, yeah. Huh. So I guess if you had like your back turned or something on the boat, it would go off. But yep. for me in this boat, every time I cast, it's going to do it. It's going to be annoying as hell. 
Thanks, AO and Norm. This is gonna be really good audio right here for the viewers at home. We'll get my rod set up here at least and just see if we can even make a cast with this nonsense combo. Do they even know if you can put a casting reel on this crappie rod? I don't did think they, you checked. Did they even see if that was possible? Oh, wow. Yeah, this is gonna be, oh man. Oh boy, this is gonna be something. Oh boy. Hold that. Look how top heavy that thing is. Wow. It's just like pulling the rod out of your hand. That's weird. Oh, yoinks. Before we launch this kayak, I would like to take this moment to remind everybody, safety first, okay? We have to remember safety at all times. Oh God. I had not been in a kayak this small since about 2006. Oh my lord, and wow, that thing collapses. Yes, it does. Oh God, your legs have to go in here. Yoinks. I'm on the seat. I'm already panicking here. Oh, oh, there we go. There it is, okay. Yoinks. Would you hand me my, uh, my crappie rod there, friend? Oh my God, look how long this thing is. <laughs> it's like twice the length of the kayak. Oh, you might have to give me a push, bro. I might just like sink right away. What was the weight capacity on this thing? Oh, 200. Oh God, am I in the water yet? Oh God, woo, okay. Oh yeah, we are in there and I am unstable. Oh man. Well, let me just tell you folks, I hope you're really enjoying this because your man is wearing knee pads and they do be looking fabulous, to be honest with you. Need to get some old uh, tan on the old whitey thighs. All right, well, we're in here now, boys. They thought they could just bring me down with this kayak, but see, little do they know, I used to kayak and stuff like this all the time back in the day. So I am not a stranger to a kayak that's too small for a lad my size. Well, I suppose the only thing to do now is to make a cast with our 86 foot long rod. I started off with the old Texas rig lizard just because it is springtime. So I figure if I have a chance of catching a fish at all, it's probably going to be with the Texas rig up on the bank, maybe. Let's do a cast in this thing first. I'm about to cast for the first time if you want to. Oh, you got that. No, I lost my helmet. Can't let that happen. Oh, I'm catching a fish while wearing that helmet. That's got to happen. Oh, now it's gonna be wet and the water's gonna be freezing. Come here, come here, buddy, come here. You can't move too much in a kayak like this or else you will go swimming. It's gonna be, it's sopping wet. Uh, just put it on there. Oh yes, the water's so cold. All right, let's get a cast in here. Oh, okay, not too bad. I thought I threw a huge bird's nest, but okay, I think I'm good here. Yeah, I think we're good. The sensitivity is incredibly high, but it's not even like in a good way. It's just like entirely too sensitive. I don't even know if I've got a fish right now or if I'm just on the bottom regular. Oh, there's Daryl. Just in time to embarrass myself real good. What do you think? I'm about to tell you half where one of them hammers and you ride a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> well, we added uh, kayaking to the list too. My friends didn't think I was safe enough while I was fishing, so they had to upgrade the safety equipment. And they gave me a giant crappie rod to go bass fishing with, so this is how much Badge thinks of me as a friend. Let's see if our bedding bass is still around. Oh, there's a bird's nest. I guess it's only right that we actually threw a bird's nest in this thing. There we go. That was a smooth cast right there. I like that. There was a bass kind of bedding over here. I was wondering if he was still around. Oh, that should be him right there. That's right where he's been. I don't know how I'm going to set the hook on this thing without going in the water. Oh, at least this thing turns on a dime. That's one good thing about it. Oh, I think I got a fish. I got him. Oh, I got him. I got him, no way. Oh, he came off. Oh, I had no rod power. Dang it. Did y'all see how much my rod was bent over? Jeez, and it still didn't penetrate. Golly, I had a fish running with it. I don't think I got close to penetrating. It did come out of the lizard though, at least. Wow, jeez. Well, there's one bite wasted. And I even like did the hook set where I like 
threw the rod up in the air because I knew that was the only way I was going to get hook out. But I don't even know if it's going to be possible. Also, my little alarm thing did not work. Maybe it was off. I don't know. Or maybe this thing is just dumb. I don't know. Well, there's one opportunity lost. Dang you, AO and Norm. Dang this constant alarm. Shut up. Oh my gosh, there's Fry right there. I just saw him flicker. And you know what that means? If there's like little baby bass somewhere, oh yeah, I'm right on top of them. There should be a bass guarding those babies. At least that's the hope. But that's not always how it works. And then if we do get a bite, who knows if we can even set the hook on one. The brush pile's like right here. I'm just trying to hit every single good spot in this pond that I know of where there's normally fish. I just, if I could catch one fish with this get up, I feel like I've won the challenge. I mean, I know they bought me a bunch of other lures, but I don't even know if I can, I, I don't know if I can catch a fish on any of these lures. My arms are literally going numb from how tight these things are. You know what this reminds me of? You guys ever given blood before? <laughs> when they wrap that thing around your arm to get the blood pumping, that's exactly what this feels like on both arms all the time. Probably bad for me. My legs, by the way, are also doing the same thing. Got some circulation issues. Oh, wow, that's a fish. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to just baseball bat him. Oh, I didn't get him. There's no way I got him. And my line's all wrapped up. Wow, this is going to be, <laughs> this is gonna be tough, man. This is going to be one of the hardest challenges I've ever done in my life. That's two bites, folks. That's two bites. You can't can't complain about bites when you're getting them. Gosh, there's just no hook setting power. And it's like a double whammy. There's no hook setting power and I've got no body leverage. You know, in a kayak, you're already on your butt, so you lose leverage there. You can't move that much in a kayak like this. You're gonna tip over, so you lose leverage there. It's just a triple whammy. Just no leverage, no backbone, you know? Kind of like me when I negotiate with Guggen every year. Bah! I lost my helmet again. Gosh darn it, we might have to leave it behind this time. I don't want to waste any possible fish catching time. Oh, I got a fish. Maybe? Oh, I may have hooked him. I may have him. Let's go. Look at my rod. He's spinning my kayak. We might have him. Oh, no, he broke it off. He came off. Oh, he didn't break it off. He just came off, guys. Oh, my Lord. That was a decent fish, too. Oh, this is heartbreaking. This, this might be impossible. These Walmart hooks are not helping either. There's just so many factors against me right now. And now my morale is starting to slip badly because there's only about 12 bass in this pond. And if I just got bit by three of them, that means there's only a handful left that are even gonna potentially participate. Dang, I had him, folks. I had him. We saw him. There was green lizard all in his gullet. Dang. Well, the silver lining here is obviously the fact that the fish are biting. So I mean, at least, at least the fish are biting. Don't mind the sunken canoe, everybody. Uh, we had a storm and it kind of got away from me and I just have not rescued it yet, but we will. Also, there's the old helmet and it fell the right way this time. So the inside didn't get that wet. All right, almost lost you there, helmet. Oh, yes, there it is. It's all starting to fall apart now, boys. I'm sure there's a bass just munching on my lure, too. Yes, yes. Oh, no way on the bird's nest. I just got to get him in. I got to get him in quick. I got to get him. No! Norm and Ao, how could y'all do this to me? How could you do this? Yeah, speed is key, man. As soon as you get them hooked, you gotta get them in. I mean, if you if you try to fight these things at all, you're done. That's four, was that four fish that I've, I've been hooked into? Or three or four? Or, he almost got my lizard and everything. That camera's dead, I don't know why I'm showing it anything. And he had time to eat it, that's why I don't understand. I guess these hooks, between the hooks and the rod, it's just, um, it's gonna be a challenge. It's gonna have to keep our heads in it now, folks. Now we're getting to that point where I'm uh, starting to question my career choice. I did lose my helmet again, I'm sorry folks, but this time I'm not going back for it. I'm all business now. I'm taking this personally now. Oh man, I got in there. Now, oh, I threw a bird's nest and pulled it out. 
Man, this setup sucks, Norm. This is, I know this is some Norm garbage right here. I mean, AO doesn't like me, but Norm hates me. And they gave me a, a thing with an alarm on it. Oh yeah, that's what I like right there. Yeah, this thing's definitely getting chucked in the lake afterwards. Oh, I got a fish. Got him. Come here. I must land you. I'm not gonna take no for an answer. No! <laughs> no! Get in here! Yes! Yes, Andrew! They said we couldn't do it! Ah! My rod's in the water. He's gut hooked. I've got nothing to do. Oh, I got it out. I'm an amazing unhooker. That's a bad word. I lost my paddle, Andrew. Everything is going wrong. The rod is 65 yards long. Freak! I'm coming, Andrew. I'm coming. Oh. Oh, yes. We're doing it, boys. We're doing this. I'm basically a pro with this thing now. Oh, God. That was almost over. Boom, baby. Shipa! I don't know how we did it, but that was literally probably one of the last casts I was going to make because I was so discouraged <laughs> from all the misses. <laughs> Look at that beautiful fish. I had a couple hooked that were bigger. There was definitely at least one that was like a three pounder, I think. This is just like your little pound and a half or, you know, nothing to write home about. But in this situation, absolute beautiful fish. Let's let this guy go. He's probably protecting some fries somewhere. So we'll let him go back to doing what he was doing. I almost fell out of the kayak on that hook set, by the way. Yeah, I kind of saw that. During the fight, there was a moment where I was like parallel almost, and I had to like do a hard weight shift back the other way while like reeling and fighting the fish. Probably should have went in, but by the grace of God, I'm still dry. Oh, thank you. Thank you, kind sir. Yeah, because yeah, this thing collapses when you try to push with it, so you actually can't push with it at all. Oh God, these knee pads. Oh, they hurt so bad. Oh. Look at my knee, bro. Yeah, Jeez. Oh my God, dude, it hurts so good to take it off. It like actually hurts to take it off because it's like that's been constricting your blood yeah. flow for so long. All right, folks, that's it for this garbage challenge. But I'm gonna tell you guys what, we have to get some payback on AO and Norm, okay? We can't just let them do this to me and just give them nothing back in return. So what I want you guys to do is every time I squeeze this horn, I want you guys to hit me with a thousand likes, okay? That's 5,000 for you folks that can't do math, like me. I meant to do this when I caught a fish. That's gonna be my celebratory horn blow. All right, that's 10, so 10,000 likes. And I am going to do this challenge to AO and Norm, and I'm gonna make them do this challenge in this pond, and I'm gonna even make it harder on them than they made it on me. So hit the thumbs up button, get in the comments section, let me know if you guys want to see that. This was one heck of a fun challenge, even though they Shut up, Rod. Even though they just hammered me with all the stuff they gave me. It was still a fun challenge. Big shout out to those guys. Make sure you check out their channels before you leave this video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm out of here. On to the next one. See you later.